वेलकम टू टेक्नोलॉजिया 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 एंड हियर आई है गॉट द लेटेस्ट एमेजॉन एलेक्सा एको डॉट जेनरेशन फाइव पॉइंट जीरो obviously without the wall clock why did i buy the clock version is because i am stupid and i was a bit stingy i want to be able to control things like my smart vacuum for instance or my smart washing machine or my smart dishwasher or my smart bulbs across the house maybe i am late to the smart home game but hey it's not a bad time to start And the reason I chose the Alexa platform is because of the cross compatibility. I can use it on both Android and iPhone as well. And maybe if I am paying the Amazon Prime subscription, it's worth the shot. On the box itself, it does not say many things. It just generally talks about the features that it has, which is Bluetooth, hands-free Alexa, where you just have to shout Alexa and it responds to you. In the earlier models, you had to tap on the speaker for Alexa to engage, but now that's not the case. When I open the box, there is nothing much to it. You get the Amazon Echo Dot itself. which i bought in black color because i just did not want a lot of stains on it on the echo dot itself there is not many things it tells you where the speaker is at which is behind this cloth mesh thing you've got the charging in spot and then you've got the volume up volume down microphone on and off button and i think this is the general alexa button itself also inside the box you will get your power cord It's a shame that they don't come with USB Type C because that's what most appliances run on nowadays. But I think this is another trick to get Amazon to sell more of these proprietary charging bricks. These charging blocks are all 15 watt each, and they have a max voltage of about 240 volts. Also in the box, you get this Echo Dot sign up thing, but I can't be bothered with that. So this version of Echo Dot is compatible with Spotify, Apple Music, Audible, and a whole heap of other platforms. It also has motion detection, so that when you come close to the speaker, Alexa fires up automatically. And since it has inbuilt Alexa, you can control a lot of smart things that are Alexa compatible in your house. So let's try it out. Hello, your device is ready for setup. Just download the Alexa app and follow the instructions. So first you power on your Alexa and it asks you to pair the device. Are uh, using your phone you just need to download the Alexa app. Once you've downloaded the Alexa app, just open the app and log in using your Amazon account. So once you've logged in, it automatically starts the pairing process uh, which is mostly over Wi-Fi and it will do it automatically so you don't have to worry about it. Once you've logged in and everything is paired up, you can add your family members. Another thing that you need to set up is a PIN. A PIN is basically a four digit number that you need to set up to use apps like smart garage door opener you can also change the call out name from alexa to something else all you've got to do is go into device settings select your device in this case echo dot and then the settings and then you can change the wake word from alexa to amazon there's just a list of four or five different names that you can choose from so the first thing that i really liked about the alexa echo dot is the accuracy with the alexa command it can do things like play music and stuff and while it's playing music i can just whisper alexa and it recognizes that someone has called alexa into action alexa play music all right here's spotify alexa pause music then attack the lord i should then attack there go Then the other feature that I really liked is its ability to learn skills. So you can pair Alexa using apps like Spotify, Audible, and then you can set up a particular app. In my case, Spotify as the primary app for music playing. So whenever I ask Alexa to play music, it will play using Spotify, which is absolutely great. With Alexa, you can control all your other devices like any Fire Sticks or any other Echo Dots or any other speakers you have. You can combine speakers as well, so you can buy multiple Echo Dots and position them strategically around the house, and they can all combine and play as one. And also, you can form groups. In groups, you have the ability to pick and select which device you want to put in a group, and then you can, with the voice command, say that play music. through group 1 and it will only use those speakers to play music which is incredible so it has an inbuilt temperature sensor so you can ask the room temperature and you can set your thermostat or any other temperature 
based devices, which is really cool. If you have got the Eero mesh services, another cool feature is that you can use this as a repeater in dead spots. So this can extend your internet range by a bit. It's not as fast as a satellite or any router, but it surely does a job. Another cool party trick with the Echo Dot is that you can play trivia with it. So if, for example, if you have a party at your house, you can host a trivia night and Alexa can be the host and you can do trivia for things like songs or you can do like a trivia battle. It's super simple to set it up using your app. So do give it a shot. Another cool thing is routines and with routines, you can set up like a basic routine and a command for it. So for example, if you say Alexa, good night, and it can trigger a bunch of actions, like it can lock your doors. If you have a smart lock, it can switch off lights, it can turn off fans, it can do a bunch of things. So these are the kind of things that I'm interested in. And over the next few months, I will set up and streamline a few of these tasks around my house, which should be absolutely incredible. So I'm super excited for that. And I will definitely share it with you guys over the next coming months. There are just so many features in the Alexa app that I'm not aware of and I've not tried and tested. However, in this instance, let's proceed to the cons. So the first thing that I don't like about the Alexa is that it does not have a 3.5 millimeter jack. So since the speaker is small on the Echo Dot, I don't have the ability to connect it to a bigger, better speaker. So that I think is a bit disappointing. And also since the speaker is small on the Echo Dot, it usually tends to get very loud when you increase the volume to maximum. It is loud, but it kind of loses the sound quality, especially in that high volume range. So that I think is a bit disappointing, but hey, it's a small speaker, so I don't expect much out of it. If you're in the market for a smart home speaker with great sound quality, you should consider upgrading to the Amazon Alexa Studio or the Alexa Pop or even the HomePod Generation 2, which have bigger speakers and great sound quality. With that being said, I really like the Echo Dot for the form factor and the amount of features that it has. And I can easily recommend this to anyone out there who wants to start their smart home journey on a budget, just like me. So there you have it. Thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.